Hello everybody. It's Second Chance Saturday. Um, I'm going to be making some scarecrows out of pot lids that I picked up from the thrift store. They were 39 cents and 20% off. Now for this one, because I can't access the back of the screw to take it off, I mean the back of the knob, I left it on and actually made that a part of the scarecrow. And this one, I was able to get the knob off. So when I did my um, vinyl that I adhered to the lid, I actually just covered up the hole with the nose. That's, there we go. I saw some glare there. All right, so we've got that one. This is also good to make um, snowmen out of. So right now we're just doing the scarecrows. Uh, around Christmas time, we'll go ahead and do some snowmen. So I left this, I actually put the transfer tape on my vinyl and I wasn't sure if any of you had seen how to transfer to the lid. So I'm going to be pulling off the transfer tape backing and leaving the vinyl. Now I used Krylon primer, paint and primer, spray paint on these. And when I did it, I did not shake the spray can well enough so what it did was it left a bumpy surface on here so that's why it's not sticking right away because it's trying to adhere always shake your your cans spray cans for a while before you use them and with this one, I also placed the um, nose of the scarecrow over top of the hole from the knob. There we go. Now, I keep watching this week on my Facebook page because my plan is to use these, <coughs> excuse me, three scarecrow in a wreath. So there we've got that one. So what I did, let me plug this in, because we're going to put a hat on them and decorate them a little bit. My plan is to take um, a drill and drill some holes in the rim and attach some wire. So I can use that to attach it to a wreath. So I'm, I'm planning on using all three of these in a wreath together. So I'll be doing that this week. So hopefully you'll be able to catch one of my lives and see them go on a wreath. Now what I did for the hats, I took a piece of mesh, this kind of like burlap paper kind of mesh, all right, and I folded it in half like this, and I cut it, and then I turned it inside out. And what I did was my stitching went like this and down. And then I turned it inside out after I trimmed the excess and just kind of turned up the edge because I wanted this like rustic ruffle edge. Now what I plan on doing is hot gluing it at the back to hold it in place. But like I said, I wanted it to look rough, like a straw hat. So I made two green ones and one yellow. So in essence, what you're doing is you're spray painting the lid first. You can use marker, you can use felt, you can use um, vinyl, whatever to decorate these lids. It's totally your choice. Okay once that heats up. Now, I do have some raffia here from the Dollar Tree, which I thought it would be cute to 
give these guys some hair. Um, this can be messy at times. I saw another um, designer online discussing that she uses, it's actually a table covering that you would use like for a luau or something like that. I'm sure Party City has it. It's actually like a table skirt. Well, it comes nice and long and straight and it is so easy to use. Um, my uh, hot glue gun here is burning off some excess stuff. Like it was catching on fire there. Oh. But anyhow, she, she cuts that up. It's easier to place and stays nice and straight. Um, probably similar to what this would, how this is laying. This is a little scarecrow I found at the Dollar General for five bucks. He's got a wad of stone in there I'm going to have to remove. But see how straight that lays? That's what the skirting, table skirting for a luau would lay like. Okay. All right. This is almost ready. So maybe what I'll do, I kind of want to see where this is going to fall and then kind of figure out where. I thought for this one I would use the brown raffia. Again, this stuff can get really messy. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it in half. And use half on one side and half on this side. Now I did go ahead and mod podge over top of the um, second coat of paint, spray paint. You could also use um, Krylon matte finish. And I found these um, scarecrow faces on Etsy. It was just a set of like eight or ten. They have them for snowmen too. I actually used it if you go back through my videos and look at the Frankenstein video. I actually used this face, same paint on a pizza, pizza pan. And that was the face of the scarecrow um, video that I did on a wreath that I made. I made the Frankenstein and I put him on a on a pizza pan and I also did the same with the uh, with the uh, scarecrow and that's in the videos. I'm making the mistake of trying to put the whole batch on together and you really can't got to do it a piece at a time. I hope everybody's having a nice morning so far. Just got to pile it a lock at a time here. And then I had plans of putting um, some sunflowers or something on his hat. I have to look, too. I also have some little birds that I thought would look kind of cute on his head, like sitting on his hat. I use these a lot, Dollar Tree um, cooling racks to um, dry, you know, when I paint stuff, I put them on there to dry. There we go. All right. And 
I wanted this to look really um, like ragged and I think that this is working this is actually um, mesh that we used for the um, unique in the creek sunflower board class that I taught And then I had some green. I thought that was nice. Let's see. Some little flowers here. But couldn't you see these as um, a snowman or a gingerbread man or woman. I think that would be so cute. And I plan on doing some snowmen for Christmas. Not sure if you guys can see there. Right, you should be able to zoom in on what I'm doing. And then I just kind of bend the edge up a little and tack it. I think these are actually just too big. I'll have to get some smaller. So there's the one. And you see we use the pot lid as the nose. Okay. Now I also made it with this green mesh. For this, I'd use the orange raffia. And because this is not live, this is a recording. If you have any questions after you watch the video, you can always send me a reply. And if I can answer a question for you, I will. The paint is the Krylon Primer and Paint, Paint and Primer, excuse me, and I got that at Walmart. You must be 18 years of age to purchase it at Walmart. Every time I go in and I use the self-serve, they have to, um, there's... Um, a clerk that has to come over and swipe her thing that I am not, that I'm older than 18 years of age, or they won't sell it to you. So just a warning, if your um, cash register starts making a bunch of noise, you didn't do anything wrong, they're just going to come over and Scan their card so you can be on your way. He or she is looking kind of cute. I think we need just a little more hair there on the side. And if you want to be notified when I go live on YouTube, you need to subscribe and hit the little bell and they will notify you when I'm live. 
I go live on my Facebook page every Monday at 645 Eastern Standard Time and Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then every Saturday, I have what's called Second Chance Saturday. And I post a video of something that I transformed, repurposed, Is he? We need some yellow flowers, I think, on her. Not liking those. Oh, there it goes again. That's a better size. get it closer. I think I'm going to have to trim it more. I don't know. Think he needs a feather? Nah. So there's scarecrow number two. Kind of like this one for over there. Instead of this one. Okay, there's one, two, and last one. And I don't know. I think in the orange for that one, too. So, you know, the Dollar Tree raffia was a dollar. So... I have like next to nothing in the cost of the mesh because it's leftover. Raffia was a dollar for three packs, you know, a three pack. Lionel didn't cost me much of anything. And the lids, I think one was 59, the other two were 39. So as you can see, I don't have that much into it, money-wise. I always try to incorporate something handmade in my wreaths to make them original. These were just a little too big. And what I will do, I have the, the knobs. I'm going to hold on to those because I'm sure I'll find some use for them. Um, depending on what I use, these could be used for a gnome. They could be used for... Um, 
a snowman. I could repaint them. So I won't I won't throw it out. I will use it for something. Just don't have anything chosen for it yet. So this is just a matter of paint, hot glue, some vinyl, a little bit of mesh, and a little bit of raffia. Throw a little orange in here. our mess up here. Oh, we got to make sure we glue it on the back. Glue it down. So I probably don't even have a dollar in each one. So, so I created something totally unique. For my wreath. Do you guys see those okay? Looks like Ken. So we got one, two, and three. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Contact me through YouTube. I think that one needs just another piece of hair there. Looking a little sparse. And don't forget to tell me if you like this video and if you want to see more of them. I have a whole list of things scheduled. Um, this is our third Second Chance Saturday. So don't forget to look at the other ones. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. And... Trying to give a wide get the widescreen back on here. Not cooperating. There we go. And hope to see you again real soon. Alright, have a great Saturday and thank you. Bye.